we want to consider the following reaction in chemical equilibrium. And we want to do a couple things to it. First, we want to know what is the effect of adding additional Br2 to the reaction. And then we want to know what is the effect of adding additional BrNO. So we know that if we're adding a substance or taking it away that we're going to use the shotley Liais principle. So what does that mean? Well, when I do this, I like to think of it as a teeter-totter. So the first one is Br2. So when I start, everything's flat, or as flat as it's going to be on the screen. And then what I want to do is I'm going to add Br2. So when I add Br2, where's the Br2 already? Well, it's on the right-hand side, right? So if I add more, then it's going to go even farther down. So it's going down. Well, if it goes down and I want to balance back out the teeter-totter, which way do I have to shift? I have to shift to the left. So I'm going to shift left. Another way to think about it is which person on the teeter-totter would be higher? It's the one on the left, so I'm going to have to put more people on there to equalize that teeter-totter back out. So if I look at the other one, I've got BRNO. Again, I start out, I've got this level teeter-totter. Now it tells me I want to add BRNO. Which side is the BRNO already on? It's on the left. So if I add more, it makes it heavier, relatively speaking. So now, which way am I going to have to shift for the chemical reagent? I'm going to have to shift to the right. Again, think about which one has the least amount of people. If you're thinking about a true teeter-totter, it's on the right side, so I need to put more people on the right to bring it back down to equilibrium.